All right, let's make rainbow dash. Here are all the materials I used. These four acrylic paints: light blue, black, white, yellow, orange, red, green, magenta, purple, and blue Palmer clay. Some head pins or wires, rolling pin, flat blade, exacto knife. These two pliers, ball. Dotting and a pointy two. These two silicone shapers, they are optional. We are starting with the head. Use your thumb to divide a line around the center of the face and stop pinching a small snout under the center line. Grab a ball tool to indent the eye sockets. Use an image of Rainbow Dash as a reference if you need to. Place a small piece of magenta clay inside the mouth and add a little bit of red clay for the tongue. Flatten a ball of white clay with your fingers before placing it into the eye socket and use a ball tool to spread it out. Do the same for the pupil and the iris. Now here you also have to flatten two balls of light blue clay and cut each in half. Then place the half circle on the upper part of the eye and smooth out the edges. Cut out a thin stripe of black clay and place it under the eyelid as an outline like what I'm doing here. Also add the eyelashes.
onto the body. Make a long teardrop shape and bend the narrow end upward. That's the neck. For the back limbs, roll them in two teardrop shapes first, then roll out around the center to make it thinner. Then bend it to get this form. So now you should have something like this. Make sure to see if the body can stand up, so you might have to adjust the limbs position. We are going to make the rainbow mane with the hair and the tail. So what I did here is roll out flat sheets of the rainbow color clay and cut stripes for each one. Make sure to have some narrow and wide stripes. Curve the tail and start placing each color clay next to each other. Now, indent a hole for the tail to be attached to. And no, it's not a butthole. Get your mind out of the gutter. Although it could be one. We are going to bake the tail unattached so that it will maintain its flat form. The top and the bottom of the mane are different colors. So here's what I did.
Make two teardrop shapes for the ears and slice the round end at an angle for easy attachment. Insert a hairpin or a wire into the neck and attach the head. However, I will pull it out again when baking it because the head is a bit heavy for the body right now. Okay, so now we are making the wings. First, sketch out the shapes and then cut them out. They are a big wing and a small wing. Place the small one on top of the big one. You can also smooth out the edges. Insert a wire to the wings before attaching them to the back. I'm going to bake these parts unattached, then glue them back on after baking. This is baked and I have glued the tail and the head to their place already. One last detail is to add the design on the thigh. So I'm using these four colors of acrylic paint and a pointy too. You can use a toothpick instead. So here I have glazed the mane, the tail, and the eyes with water-based polyurethane gloss. It is optional to do that. You can glaze the whole thing or not glaze it at all. I hope this video is helpful and I had so much fun figuring out how to make this rainbow dash. Make sure to check out previous tutorial right there. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Etsy for more work. If you have ideas or requests for future videos, leave them in the comment section. Subscribe if you like what I do and for supporting this channel. Thank you so much for watching and keep crafting guys. Bye!